what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys' day is going well. As you can tell by that title, we are talking about a physique update, new routines, and why I think you guys should be comfortable within the uncomfortable. So let's start this video off with the physique update. Right now, I am a month in to shredding down for the summer. And that's not to say that I have a specific goal by a specific day, but for the new career, which I'll tell you guys about on June 26th, um, I need to be a little bit more athletic. But I don't wanna do these, the sort of stereotypical shredding down for the summer using standard bodybuilding. I wanna be more athletic. So I was right here at the beginning, or I should say the middle of May, May 15th to start was not happy with my physique. I've been doing upper lower split for years and honestly, I was just kind of thinking I need to be a little bit leaner. And I'm a big fan of the lean bulk, but that takes time and I want to get this shredding down a little bit quicker. So I thought, how could I do it a little bit differently than the standard bodybuilding mentality? So I've been doing triathlon training. Now, I'm not training for a triathlon, but I'm using that sort of stages and different uh, physical training aspects to promote more depletion of energy. That energy's gotta come from somewhere. My diet's clean, you guys damn well know that. So it's gonna come from the previously stored body fat. And that's, and that's gonna be good. Feel in equals feel out, and that's what's gonna get the good results. So that's where I was. This is where I'm at right now. A little bit leaner. It's it's It sort of looks like a lot within a week. It's not that big a change. What it is is cutting the carbs out of the diet. Not completely, not doing a completely zero carb diet, a low to no carb. Uh, what that's really gonna do is help get rid of that extra water weight. It's gonna slim you down pretty quick, but I'm also doing that in tandem with a really good routine. So this looks like a huge difference within a week. It's really not that much, but I'm constantly trying to get better and better. I was at 194 with the before picture. I'm at one, probably 186, 185 right here with my latest picture and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling lean and mean and what my training style is, again, it's quasi triathlon training, is I, I'm still doing upper lower split, that's not going anywhere. So I wake up at 345, I'm at the gym by 430. 430 to 630 is strictly weight training, upper or lower, doesn't matter which one it is. So I'm doing bench, deadlifts, squats, leg extensions, everything in that. And then once that clock hits 630, I'm doing 30 minutes of core. Now that core training, is not to build a better six pack. The two are not tangibly connected like that. It's to build a better trunk and a better core stability, which in virtue of that will do better compound lifts and a caloric deficit that will create better abs. So they're not completely connected, but one is getting the result in virtue of the other. So I do 30 minutes of core, which I think has really helped my squats and my deadlifts just with that stability factor. After that 30 minutes, the second it hits 7 a.m., I'm going to the pool. I'm doing 30 minutes in the pool, swimming laps back and forth, and let me tell you, talking about being uncomfortable, I haven't swam since I was probably 140, 150 pounds, so to be closer to 250 pounds up in the pool is rough. I don't float at all, and the second I stop moving, I just sink right down in below. So I have to swim really fast to stay higher in the water, which burns out my legs, which burns out my arms, and my cardio is just garbage in the water. It's something that is is not my comfort zone, so it's really difficult, and that's what's great. I, I love that. I wake up every morning going, how can I kick my own self in the pool and get bigger and better every day? And I mean, just swimming, I've noticed my physique changing probably in virtue of everything together, but swimming alone has gotten better and better, which means my physique is changing because I have to adapt to that really uncomfortable pool setting. After the pool, hop on a bike, do a mile, basically just to warm up my legs, and then I run for a mile and a half on the track. That together is about three and a half hours of triathlon training each day. I do that Monday through Friday, five days a week. Take today and tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, as a rest day, which kind of drives me nuts because I'm used to running a six or seven day routine. So to kind of just sit idly by for two days, I'm kind of sitting with my hands fumbling around. But you know what? You got to be smarter than you are in your own head and go, hey, your body needs rest, especially for that crazy amount of training. You need to rest, recover, get some good nutrition in and start that week back up on Monday, stronger and better because of it. So that type of training is, is leading really well right now. And the best part is, it's making me exceedingly uncomfortable. I'm tired all the time. I could do three hours in the gym with upper or lower, go to work like it's completely nothing. I might not even be sore the next day. And that is the first sign that you are the king of your own comfort zone. It's not challenging you. And if it's not challenging you, it's not going to change you. That's a huge, huge uh, sort of phrase that I like to say all the time. 
this new routine I'm on right now, not only do I have to set an alarm on my phone and my watch just to not fall asleep before I have to go to work. So I'm getting like six and a half, seven hours of sleep, which is a little light, not what I want, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm tired all the time. I'm drinking coffee and aminos and a little bit of pre-workout all the time just because I'm exhausted. And you know what? That is awesome. And that's what I like because if I'm not tired of doing three hours in the gym, but I'm tired from doing three hours of triathlon training, that leads me to know that A does not equal B. They're not the same thing. And one is requiring way more fuel to maintain. That fuel is either gonna come from a diet or your stored body fat. So if the diet's on par, which you know mine is, then it's gonna come from that body fat, which is why you see these really decent changes in physique pretty quickly, because that's a lot of fuel I'm requiring. I think I'm probably at about 14%. So I've lost maybe three to 2% body fat in a month which for someone at my scale is, is pretty decent. Doesn't sound like a very big number, but it is. And I still have plenty of time to go. All of this is in virtue of getting leaner and meaner for the new career, again, which I'll tell you guys on June 26th, but it's a really physical job. It's gonna require a decent amount of physicality. And especially with the goal I have once I get there, it's gonna require a ton of physicality. So I wanna be able to go there and just crush it. I mean, absolutely just crush it. and. I think this workout's gonna be there, if only because it's challenging me and it's changing me and I'm all about it. So I really wanna encourage you guys as I'm getting close to the 10 minute mark, I wanna encourage you guys, look at your routine, see how comfortable you are, and if you are comfortable, you need to change it. You need to throw in something different. I'm not saying do three and a half hours, I'm not saying jump in a pool or on a track, but if you're doing something, change the time when you work out. Change the way your nutrition looks like when you work out. If you're training carved up and ready to rock, do a month of no carb fasted training, if you will. Um, that will promote some serious difficulties because now you're training on less carbs. That's gonna require you to have to push harder. That pushing harder is gonna require more fuel because now you're struggling to get it and I guarantee your physique will change. Or if you're training fasted, throw some carbs on. Notice how big of a strength boost that gives you. Those numbers, you go from 225 to 275 on the bench press for a month, that's a lot of extra fuel that you've now added that's gotta come from your body fat storages or your diet, that's gonna change your physique. Change some elements around small little ones and I guarantee not only will your happiness change because we're, we're crazy, people in the fitness industry. I'm, you like the pain, you like being tired. At least I could definitely tell you I like the pump. I like waking up the next morning and going like, oh my God, my legs are destroyed. It's a sort of a, a mild sadisticness to it, but we, we like that kind of stuff. So when you don't really feel that every day and you're kind of going in and you're just walking through the motions, it's a little down putting. It, it doesn't really give you that excitement. Switch it up a little bit, make it challenging, get that passion back and I guarantee your physique will follow and you will change and you'll start getting those goals you're going towards. Now if you don't know the proper plan and progression to get there, comment section below. Not only is there tons and tons of people in this community who have been through probably what you're going through, but there's a lot of subject experts between power lifting, maybe aesthetic lifting, lifting when you're on the road, going through hotel room gyms and that kind of stuff. There's a ton of people in the Fitness 253 community that can help you. If I don't know it, I'm gonna turn to those people and try to get your guys' questions answered just as you can imagine, because that's what this whole community is for. Real fitness, real people. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Getting out there, being comfortable within the uncomfortability of lifting and fitness. Again, ask those questions, be part of this. Let me know if there's any videos you guys wanna see or topics you need covered. Thanks for watching everybody, take it easy.